The indexing landscape. The blockchain indexing landscape is an interesting one where there are a range of indexing services available from custom chain indexes to pre-baked indexing as a service indexes and finally fully customized indexes. Let's take a look at these categories in more detail. Some blockchains such as Tezos or Near have pre-built indexes dedicated to indexing their particular chain. These types of indexes are fine for developers who are familiar and already developing on these blockchains. However, they only work within their ecosystem and trying to learn how to use dedicated indexes to aggregate data from multiple blockchains can be very time consuming and very difficult. Learning how to build a dedicated blockchain indexer using the tools from that particular blockchain it does require a very specific set of skills and it's not entirely transferable across different chains. There has to be a better way. Enter indexing as a service. Much like software as a service or SaaS, indexing as a service does exactly what it states. It provides blockchain index data as a service. These services, such as Covalent and Unmarshall, typically charge a monthly fee for a set amount of API requests where a specific chain can be chosen and a range of pre-created APIs provided. The advantage of indexing as a service is that it is very quick to set up with very little coding. The disadvantage is there is very limited flexibility in the API. If there's some custom data that is required that the API does not provide, then you're stuck. For developing simple proof of concepts, this may be fine, but for developers who want to provide a great user experience or features other than the basics, indexing as a service falls a little short. Let's now take a look at enterprise indexing tools. Enterprise indexing tools, such as Zetablocks, typically provides a feature-rich platform along with dedicated support, but generally this comes at a higher cost and vendor lock-in. Pricing is generally not transparent and community support can be limited. Having said this, there is a market for enterprise indexing tools and they are usually other enterprise companies that may need the security and guarantee that one would expect enterprise indexing tools to provide. And then at the other end of the spectrum we have open source SDK indexes. Open source indexes such as the Graph, Subquery and Subsquid have various advantages over all the previous mentioned indexes. Firstly, the code is open source, which is a huge benefit. The code can be inspected and verified, and it can also be improved and built upon by community members. Open source indexes are also highly flexible. Coding provides the ultimate flexibility instead of using an attractive GUI or graphical user interface, which may make creating custom indexes a little faster, but can be restrictive in its capabilities. Open source indexes usually have a large, vibrant and friendly community ecosystem that are willing to provide assistance to anyone when required. Open source indexes often provide various deployment options, meaning users can self-host, pay for managed services, or even utilize a decentralized indexer network. The last point of providing a decentralized indexer network needs to be highlighted because in many respects, building a powerful distributed and decentralized network providing verifiable blockchain index data powered by a token economy is essentially the end game in this new Web3 world. A perceived disadvantage of open source indexes is that they are more complicated to learn and implement. While this may have been true in the early days, currently they are very easy to learn with many options for deployment as previously mentioned. Enterprise level support may also be limited in some cases, but this can often be negotiated with various third parties who contribute or maintain the open source SDK as well.